morning and thanks for tuning in to Carolina Kid News. We've got some St. Patty news for you. U.S. National Whitewater Center celebrates St. Patrick's Day with their Green River Revival on Saturday, March 14th. This is a free, family-friendly event. At 10 a.m., the Color Me Green 5K will take place. At 1 p.m., there will be live music and the river will turn green. Ever wonder how the shamrock became an element of the Irish holiday? According to Irish legend, St. Patrick used a three-leaf clover as a metaphor for the Holy Trinity when he was first introducing Christianity to Ireland. Citizens of the United States love to partake in St. Patrick's Day celebrations. Did you know that New York City's St. Patrick's Day Parade is one of the world's largest parades since 1962? Over 250,000 people have marched up Fifth Avenue on foot. The parade still does not allow floats, cars, or other modern-day trappings. Chicago, Illinois has been celebrating St. Patrick's Day by dumping green dye into the Chicago River since 1962. It takes 40 tons of the dye to get that river in a festive shade of green. about St. Patrick's Day that you may not know. St. Patrick wasn't even Irish. He was born to Roman parents in Scotland or Wales in the late 4th century. He did, however, introduce Christianity to Ireland in the year of 432. The Jewish Cultural Festival will be held at Davidson College on Sunday, March 15, 2015, from 12 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. The festival is a free, family-oriented event focusing on the strength, life, and history of the Jewish people. Events include a klezmer band from New York City, Russian folk dance lessons, storytelling with puppetry, food, art making for children, and a musical piece from the college's production of Fiddler on the Roof, which will run from March 20th to March 29th. The Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus announced that it is removing elephants from the greatest show on earth. Elephants have been a staple of the circus act for 145 years. But with so many concerns about the treatment of the elephants and the effects of captivity, people's opinion on using them in the act has changed. elephants traveling with the circus, but once they officially retire, they will be relocated to the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Center for Elephants. Stay tuned for more Carolina Kid News.